This one's going to be on a direct connect client called NCDC. It's an uh, NCURS interface, so you can use it in your terminal. Anyways, this is uh, how you would use it here. So, first, when you fire it up, NCDC, uh, basically, what they're going to do is they're going to create a folder in your home folder called NCDC here, dot NCDC. And uh, what we're going to do is do some configurations first. So, this bus is out here. Got some notes here. Uh, first thing you want to do is set your nickname. So I have my nickname here. All right. So let's say if you want to chat with other people on there, then uh, that's your nickname. You can give it a description too if you want. So here's basic description of our shares and how many connections that you want to set. So we do ten. And if you want to share any. Um, you know uh, of your files so some I think most hubs uh, they allow you or they require you to have maybe two or 20 gigs or whatever it is that they'll tell you uh, when you connect to their server or the hub I mean and they'll tell you like you need a minimum of two gigs 10 gigs whatever it is and so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna share different folders uh, I can share as many as you want I'm just gonna share one here right and that is it. We add our shares. Uh, it's gonna try to, you know, read those files or whatever and hash it. Uh, but anyways, next thing you want to do is I hate the colors on here. Um, it's just all white text, so that really annoys me. So I changed some of the colors here, and I'm using the Tango palette. So it might be different on your terminal, but that's what we're doing here. We're just gonna copy and paste uh, my color themes here and we'll wait for this to finish and then I'll show you how to use it really because right now we're not doing anything just setting up um, you know our uh, color so you can see it better when I'm doing this screencast what the hell copy this and I think we're almost finished uh, I think there's a few more here there you go a couple more lines Copy this, do it. And if you never use um, DCC before, it's just file sharing, but it's kind of like, uh, what was it, IRC type of thing, where you do need to you know be connected to other people and it's just like a one-on-one -on -one ratio it's not like torrents where you have little bits and pieces from different people um, I think that's how that works but anyways we have our color set up and how do you use this here to connect to a hub so basically you need to find a hub and there's actually different sites that does this I, I found two sites here but there's probably more right and you can see that they give you a list here they tell you the location, how many people are, are um, on it, and how much they're sharing. This one is, uh, what is that, two something uh, petabyte, I think that's what they call it. And down here is just like terabytes here, right? But basically you just copy, you know, the, uh, the link, and then you just paste it in uh, when you're connecting. So for example, I have one here. When you want to connect to a hub in here, uh, it's pretty simple. You actually have to create a new tab. Uh, you can call it the tab whatever name you want. So right now we're going to do slash open and you give it a name. So for example down here we have this one called Global Connect. Uh, it's just a name. We're not connecting anything right now. Right? So this is like um, our second tab. So our first tab is our main always. And our second tab up here, this one's called Global Connect. And we're not connecting anything yet, right? But if you want to connect to it, you do slash connect and then the hub uh, address that you want to connect to. So that's what we're doing here. And there we go. We're connecting to it. And this is kind of like your chat window for that hub. So you can actually just type in hello if you want. And you have your name here. And if someone else sees it, they might chat with you. Like I said, it's kind of like a... Um, IRC client, but they do have 
what is that more for file sharing here All right so we're connected to one if you want to connect to another one let's say for example I think I have another one down here let's say I open another uh, what is that window so we go open and now we're connect to another uh, hub right and now we have two so we have our main window we have our first hub here and this is our second hub and if you want to search for stuff inside it um, all you got to do is type in what is that slash search and let's say we search for a remix right and we'll wait here so this is our files that uh, people are sharing and you know right here they'll tell you the user um, that is sharing it the size of the file and the slots that is open so some of these you have to wait for it um, to be open so you can actually download some stuff and the last part this is your file names that uh, you know you want to download from so you go up and down using your arrow keys if you want and you go to the file let's say this one and right now you have zero zero because was that slots are zero zero I guess he doesn't let's um, download or something anyways go to this one and if you want to download you hit D and it should download it should add it to your queue list now if you want to open your queue list it's just um, what is our queue list you hit uh, alt and Q and this is your queue list here right um, if you want to go to our main window, it's just using out in numbers. So out one, out two, out three, out four, so on and so forth. Um, if you want to switch to different windows. Uh, so let's say we add a bunch of these here. So let's do, I don't know, D, some of these stupid ones. I don't even know what it is in here. So we add a couple of them to our queue list. And so let's see uh, if it downloads. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, they do have a connections tab too. If you do, um, what is that? Alt and N. And this one will tell you if you've been disconnected to a certain user or something like that, or something funky happens. They do have, like, what is that? One for connections, idle. And if someone's downloading from you, then you see the uploads, uh, you see the downloads, and the disconnects. And you can actually hit one two or three to disable some of them if you don't like to see them so right now if you want to, you don't you don't want to see the disconnects you hit five and uh, you don't see the disconnects anymore uh, but let's go back to our queue here see if we download anything I guess not so let's try back to our different hubs here a hub two and we'll search from here um, let's say we search for I don't know techno or something uh, let's see what we get here all right, so we got some stuff in here, and let's say I want to download this. I hit D. Uh, what is this here? I don't know what this one is. I hit D for download, and let's go we'll check back to our queue list in uh, Alt Five here. And then there we go. It finally started downloading some stuff here. So this one is downloading. We'll wait for it to finish. Now, where does it save it to when you're done? It saves it to um, the same dot files that it created. So, for example, we're gonna go uh, into our home folder, and we do dot ncdc, and in here we'll bust out Ranger. But once it's done, it'll go into your DL folder here, right? If it's incomplete, it'll be in your incomplete folder here. But once it's done, it'll go into here, and then you can listen to whatever you download whether it be a song a movie picture whatever it is and then it'll go there um, pretty much how the program works it, it really just depends on you know the hubs that you connect to some hub requires you to have um, or to be registered and those are annoying this is a waste of time but if you see that and you want to be connected to that hub then you actually have to register and like I said, most of the hubs that you connect to, uh, they will require you to have a certain amount of, what is that, uh, files share. Like maybe 2 gigs, 3 gigs, 4 gigs, whatever it is, right? And that's pretty much it for the program. If you never use Direct Connect, 
It's just uh, another form of file sharing that they did back in the days. Even though BitTorrent is very popular nowadays, there is alternatives if you want to try out some of the old school way to do it. So this is a command line way to do it, but there's other programs if you don't want to use um, you know, the end curse here. Anyways, that's it for the program. And for exiting, it's pretty simple. You just go here and you go slash quit. Now, another thing is I forgot to say is that uh, once you you know run it again, you don't actually have to remember those uh, hubs that you've already connected to and successfully connected to. All you gotta do is just type in a slash, uh, I think, uh, what was that? Open, and then you do uh, the hashtag, or you can actually just hit tab, and it'll tell you the two uh, hubs that we connected to earlier, right? And it automatically saves whatever hub that you connected to earlier, so you don't have to do it again, you know, telling it the uh, specific address and all that. So if you want to connect it again, you just do slash open and then hashtag and whatever that name that you gave it to. And now it connects it automatically once you, you know, reconnect to it uh, again. So hopefully that helps. Pretty simple. Just, um, you know, connecting to the hubs that you want and downloading the files that you want uh, from the command line here. That's it for this one.